So in Spanish, there's cuentacuentos, storyteller. And it's been a few years now that I've sort of thought of myself in that vein as opposed to escritor, writer, or periodista, journalist. I think that stories are how we create community. Stories are how we decide where we belong. I'm Daniel Alarcón. I'm a writer and radio producer. What unites all of my work is a genuine curiosity. I really am interested in people's stories. When I ask people questions, I really want to hear the answers, whether it's in fiction or, or nonfiction, whether it's print or audio, whether it's English or Spanish. So my first novel is called Lost City Radio. There was a show in the late 90s and 2000s on one of the big radio stations in Lima that was called Busca Personas, People Finders. I was a big fan of the show because these little, and not so little, dramas would play out. So I just fictionalized it, and I wrote this novel in which Norma is the host, a young boy, an 11-year-old boy named Victor, shows up and he's got a list of all the people who've gone missing from his village. I guess the story of the novel is the backstory that these two people, the boy and Norma, didn't even know that they shared. A lot of my work in fiction tries to confront the legacies of political violence. It's something that I've been obsessed with for a number of reasons. One of them is just, quite frankly, survivor's guilt. You know, my family left in 1980. The, that's the year the war started in Peru. You know, my family had an opportunity to to move abroad and they took it. But in December of 1989, my father's younger brother um, disappeared. There was a lot more conversation in the house about the violence, about terrorism. And my understanding of Peru as a place, not just of family and friends, but also of, of danger and lots of unanswered questions uh, sort of shifted forever. I think it's no accident that the themes that show up in my fiction also show up in my journalism. I've written about gangs in El Salvador. I've written about book piracy in Peru. I've spent a night in Peru's most notorious prison. I've written about criminal justice in California, civil unrest in Chile. That's the kind of experience that I, that I want to have as a journalist, is to get to those places that I never would have imagined that I'd be. One of the core ideas of Rambulante from the beginning has been that geographical boundaries or political borders may be real, but cultural and linguistic boundaries are completely fluid. We've done almost 200 episodes from more than 20 countries covering love and migration and families and youth culture and music and politics. And each episode is, um, is one story, deeply reported, you know, beautifully produced. And two years ago, we created a news show called El Hilo, which means the thread in Spanish. And for El Hilo, we take one big news story from Latin America or the U.S. every week and talk to journalists from across the region who are reporting the story on the ground and can really sort of give a granular sense of what's at play, the issues that are, that are in flux and what it might mean for either that country or the region. It, it, it makes me super proud to be able to see those stories like living next to each other and being commented upon by people who've never been to those places but who suddenly feel like they have a connection there.